What's going on friends? This is round two of driving with Logan Myers, riding with Logan Myers. Today's the day, one of my favorite movies of the year and a movie that we're giving away today actually on Blu-ray. Ready Player One. I'm heading to the local Best Buy to go pick up my 4K copy of Ready Player One. Really excited. I've been waiting for this for since the movie's been released. And I'm uh, going to go pick that up. Maybe do a little unboxing once I get home and life will be good until the next movie they release on uh, 4K Steelbook. So how are you guys all doing today? How's everything going in your lives? Work, family, life? I want to hear from you guys. Today I'm driving my mother-in-law's car and uh, beautiful day here in Lake in the Hills, Illinois. A little sunny. I should have worn my sunglasses. But uh, yeah, what a really great weekend. Uh, San Diego Comic Con happened, released a ton of trailers, a bunch of movie news, James Gunn getting fired from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy about some controversial tweets he posted um, 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm on the fence about that. I'm like, yeah, the tweets were not not good at all. And, um, you know, but it's like, why do you dig through somebody's Twitter, you know, Twitter account 10 years ago? find something else to do Disney it's like I get it you're all about kids and making good family friendly films but you know like I said I'm on the fence about it what James Gunn you know he's got a weird sense of humor kind of like myself and maybe he shouldn't have tweeted stuff about being a pedophile and a whole bunch of other weird shit but that's a sense of humor should he be fired from Guardians of the Galaxy over it probably not in my opinion, I don't think so. Because he's the one that really brought Guardians of the Galaxy to light. You know, a lot of us, like myself, didn't really know much about Guardians. And it's definitely one of my favorite films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Definitely top, one of the top films of the universe, for sure. Bring, you know, bringing all these different characters to life. Throwing a you know, comedic spin on it. Great soundtrack. You know, I don't know how Disney is going to move forward with a different director... It's going to be a completely different tone. So I don't think they're going to really be able to pull that off without Mr. James Gunn. I'm a huge fan of his. So that was some of the controversy. Uh, another uh, thing that happened, one of my favorite guys from Collider, John Schnepp, passed away. I uh, watched the Collider videos yesterday. They paid tribute to him and his fiancee, Holly Payne, talking about his life. And what a great person. What a great person, you know, brought so many different mediums to light, you know, showed people comic books, Metalocalypse, I do the Collider videos, review movies, you know, just a really great human being altogether, Mr. John Schnepp, so really kind of sad that he passed away at a young age, you know, there's more in life for him to bring to us, and really sad to see him go. So that was kind of a downer, uh, but besides that, there's a bunch of, you know, movie trailers released, Aquaman, uh, King Kong, or not King Kong, but uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, <clears throat> then I did a little trailer reaction video I'll be posting up here on our YouTube channel, w wishing that, you know, we could, could have made it to San Diego maybe next year, if we can afford it, making it to the best Comic Con of all time. International San Diego Comic Con. Uh, we're pulling up here to Best Buy, my favorite local place to hang out at. And it takes too much of my money. But we're gonna go pick up old Wade Watts and Crispy High Definition 4K for Cinefella's Home Collection. Looking forward to checking that out on a 4K TV and falling into the oasis. It doesn't look like there's too many people here, so hopefully I'll get my copy. But we shall see. Are you guys going to pick this up today in 4K? You going to pick up the steelbook? Let us know. Let us know. And uh, I'm going to be pulling up here to park. And uh, I'll show you guys the 4K copy once I get out of Best Buy. It's now 10.05. Best Buy opened up five minutes ago and they're completely sold out of the steelbooks, of 4K steelbooks, but luckily I got my copy right here. Man, she is beautiful. 
there's a guy behind me in line. He's all pissed off. He's like, holy shit, they sold out of all of these. They had like 20 copies sold out within five minutes at Best Buy. So hopefully you guys pre-ordered this or got at Best Buy this morning at 10 o'clock right when they opened to get a copy of this. Definitely one of my favorite movies of the year. I loved it so much. Giving away a regular Blu-ray copy of this tonight on our uh, YouTube channel, our website, to one lucky follower. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as we do. This is a movie you have to add to your collection. Hopefully you guys got it. What's going on, friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellows.com. Thanks for taking a ride with me to the local Best Buy to pick up uh, Ready Player One, the movie I've been anxiously awaiting for my home collection here. And it's on 4K Steelbook Blu-ray. And she's a beaut. And we're going to enter the Oasis with, with old Wade Watts. So let's do it. Oh, Warner Brothers. The plastic contraceptive. And there she is. Beautiful, beautiful steelbook. 4K. It's going to look beautiful on the 4K TV. It's like I'm in the Oasis or something. And not the band either. Today is going to be the day. So I took the top off here. In the back we have his avatar from the movie, Percival. In the Oasis. Side, you got the little Ready Player One logo with Warner Brothers. Let's take a look inside, shall we? So this is inside the Ready Player One 4K Steelbook from Best Buy. We got the digital download. As always, I may just give that away to somebody. If anybody's interested. And we got Percival here. Wade Watts himself in the Oasis. Aquacolor 4K copy. That's pretty cool. We got the stacks on that. Then obviously we got the the Blu-ray here. That's cool. I like the 4K one, the aqua turquoise color. And again, we have Percival here. And he's got the key. Which key is it? So that's it for the Ready Player One 4K Best Buy Steelbook unboxing. Again, I've been really excited for this for since the movie was released. And I'm uh, glad I got my hands on a copy of this. A lot of other people did not, so it's uh, really exciting. I can't wait to watch this and see all the bonus footage. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing video, taking a ride with me to the Best Buy, and definitely have a lot more of those videos coming in the near future. We have Deadpool 2 coming out. We have Avengers Infinity War and Upgrade. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe below. This is Logan Myers signing out from the Oasis. Cheese!